All right, what is up, guys? Um, I'm going out right now. I'm gonna ride my bike down to a little part or a little section of the Chickies Creek, and I'm gonna try and catch a smallmouth there. If not, there's a couple ponds around there that I also like to try. So I'm about to get ready, get some water, get some snacks for the day. Just got home from school. I'm kind of running late. I only got a couple hours. Cause right now it's 3:41. 3:41 right now. Oh, about 4 o'clock by the time I actually leave, probably. So I'm a little pressed for time. Um, let's get out there, and I'll get back to you when we get there. spot a little creek right in here and just by the uh, first couple looks of it looks pretty good down there we got a bridge and there's a stump under it it has a couple fish on it but uh well, there's a couple other ponds I uh, found on the way but they're all either private or no fishing so now I'm here right now I'm just fishing a weightless Sanko yum dinger and I also have a little uh, mini flip tied on so we'll get back to you when we get bite Get the fishing. Deeper hole here. It's good to see. Something's hitting it. Does he have it? Nope. Not sure if these are sunnies messing with me or what, but I'm something just started running with my bait back there and now something's tapping it up here. But when we went to Swatera, that's how they were hitting a lot of times, just, just tapping it like little bluegill taps, and then they would just take it. So maybe I just gotta wait on them. Oh! There's something right there. Hey! There we go, boys, a little smallie. That's awesome. Man, he came out of nowhere and just crushed that Sanko. That probably looked really dumb on camera because I think I hit the camera with my hook set, but. Man, he ate it so good. He came out of nowhere and just crushed that little green pumpkin Sanko with the chartreuse tail, just fishing it weightless. All right, a little guy, but you know, I've never fished this part of the creek. And I've never caught a smallmouth, many smallmouth out of this creek anyway, so let's let him go. There he goes, that's awesome. All right, number one, hopefully there's more to come. This was smallmouth and creeks. There's more, oh man, right away, something hit it. Just started taking my slack out. <laughs> well, that just proves why, well, I think it proves what I was saying. It's usually in creeks with smallies where there's one, there's more. There's some hits. There he is. Got him. This one, no, this one's a largemouth. Sweet. Awesome. Oh, he's a little bigger one than the last one. Oh, look at that. Barely, barely hooked him. Look at this. That pops right out. And we got ourselves a little largemouth. Probably adjust my camera a little bit. You probably couldn't see any of that. Got a little large mouth right there. Uh, not the not the cast right after, but it was almost back to back. He hit it. All right, let's get a release on this guy. I think we got ourselves a little pattern here. There he goes. All right, guys, we're getting some bass in Chickies Creek right here. Unheard of. Oh, he hit it right in front of me. Oh, that was a smallie. Hit it right in front of me. This looks really nice in here, though. You can see it, all them stumps lined up. And, uh, there's a couple stumps I can see underwater, too. I'll show you guys what I'm doing. I got these yum dingers right here. Taking one of these. They're the green pumpkin chartreuse. And what I'm 
how I'm rigging this, I'm just taking probably that much right there off the top. That's about my size right there. Actually, you probably could take off a little more, but that's what I'll go with for now. And I'm just Texas rigging that weightless. No bullet weight on this one. So I think that bass just really can't resist. Like that right there, that's a fish. There he is. Oh, that's a better one. Oh, man. Look at him. That's a rock bass there, and that's a big rock bass. Wow, that's funny. That rock bass is probably bigger than the largemouth and smallmouth I caught. Wow, look at him. He is a chunker. That's cool. Used to catch a bunch of these in Raystown and Cadoris, but it's the first one I've actually caught in a while. Let's get a release on this guy. That's a fatty there. There he goes. They seem to be in the little calmer pools. Calm and deep is where they're at. Oh my! Did you guys just see that? I was reeling my Sanko in for another cast and it looked like a, a pretty decent smallmouth came up and hit it right on the top. There he is! Wow! Unbelievable, that is a pretty nice smallie right there guys. Let's see if I can get him in. This is definitely a, oh wow. That might actually be the same one, I'm not sure. He's definitely very active. Wow guys, look at that. That is amazing. I mean, you guys might be thinking, hey, why are you getting a little hype, like all hyped up about a, a little tiny smallmouth in a creek? But honestly, this is the biggest smallmouth I've caught out of this certain creek right here. If any of you guys live in this area, and you heard about Chickie's Creek, it's not exactly a prime fishing destination. Just casting up this shoreline along this bank. We got some rock. They seem to just be hanging on it. Like that right there, that's a good one. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my, what is, is this a small mouth? Oh my gosh. This is either a, oh it's a smallie and it's a good one. He was, he was fighting me like crazy, running back and forth around this creek. Don't come off, baby. Don't come off. Don't come off. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Don't you jump. Don't you jump. Oh. That was probably the most insane bass fight I've ever felt in my entire life. Just look at that fella. Right there. He gave me a run for my money. Oh, my goodness. He just took it and I'm just glad I hooked him. He started running up and down the creek and I, oh, I'm just lucky I didn't lose him. I would send a picture to Austin, but I just want to get this by. This, I want to get this guy back in the water and get some more. Let's get a release on this guy. jumping sweet I knew there was another oops sorry guys I knew there was another smallie in there I feel him hit it every once in a while man I'm just farther I go down this little thing they're just getting bigger and bigger that guy's probably the biggest one yet oh don't come off he's barely hooked look at that guy right there on that Sanko it is kicking butt today and wow just look at him not a giant by any means but still a Nice quality creek smallie. There he goes, back to his home. All right, coming up on this uh, big tree right here. This actually might be my last spot I stop at before turning around. Unless I see something that catches my eye. Let's see if we can catch a couple fish out of here. There he is. Oh man. He made a big splash. Man, that's a good one right, that's a really good one right there, guys. Wow. 
hooked them right in the top of the lip. Doesn't get any better. Oh, I unhooked him and hooked him again. Wow, just look at that. I can tell just by holding this fish, he's definitely heavier. And he has got some muscles to him. Wow. Well, let's get a release. There is another. Oh my goodness. He came running right at me and he like skipped across the water. Look at him. Sweet. Definitely a little smaller than the last one, but uh, <laughs> still a nice quality creek fish right there. Came swimming right at me, let him go. There he goes. All right, we're two for two, back to back. There's another. Like they're gonna, oh, slimed you guys. Man, he is still, still thinks he's fighting. That is three for three right there, guys. They instantly, right after they eat it, I can just see my line and start moving. Like they come out and find a different spot to eat their food. Awesome. That little flurry's over, so we're gonna start heading back. What? Wow. Well, I'm retying. That was probably the biggest bass of the day there, guys, and he just broke me off. I could feel him start running with it. He must have took me right under a rock because he broke me off. Let's see if we can get a get him to bite again or get one of his buddies to bite again. What do we have here? Little baby small jaw. That guy right there. Let's see if he's got a hook in there. Nope. This isn't the one that broke me off, but still an awesome fish. Let's let him go in here. There's one right there. Pretty nice one. Oh man, I love the way these fish fight. That's just amazing. I mean, look at that. Straight power of this smallmouth. And he's probably barely even a pound. Oh, actually, no, he's probably pretty, he's probably the biggest one of the day. Just look at that. See these fish? These fish here aren't giants, as you can see. That's probably about a close to a pound smallie, but the way they fight just amazes me. They fight so hard and man, they just they're so energetic. That's crazy. There's one right there. Oh wow, he caught me off guard. Seems like the bigger smallies, surprisingly. Oh wow. Surprisingly, the bigger smallies, you don't even feel a hit. Like that might, that might actually be the biggest one all day. Oh yeah, for sure. That beast. Biggest one of the day, didn't even feel a single hit. Just felt my line get heavy. And so uh, um, I just set the hook. But yeah, let's get this guy uh, back into his home. There he goes, awesome. There's another one. Man, these fish fight so hard. Like it just fun. oh, and he came off. And I was just about to say it's fun just to kind of let him play with it and just feel feel the fight of them because they sure do fight hard. But that was all right. And I saw him. All right, I'm out of the creek now. Um, today turned out to be a good day. Didn't have much time, but I got out here, got it done. I caught. Oh, uh, I don't know. I had, had to have caught around 10 smallmouth. Maybe you should 
count in the video and find out because I don't even remember. But caught them all on that weightless uh, Sanko, the Yum Dinger, Green Pumpkin with the Chartreuse Tail. In case you guys want to get some, I'll let you know uh, which ones to get. But thanks for watching this video. I'm going to head home and I'll see you at the house. But until then, enjoy this awesome time lapse. That's soaked.